Hi, this is Hussein Al Felakawi from Subten System. Today I will talk about how to install and align the V320 and V1000 radios. In order to have a very good radio link, you need to install and align the liberator properly. Make sure that you have a clear line of sight, a proper mounting structure, correct radio polarization, and finally use alignment procedure guideline. To ensure a clear line of sight, there should be no obstacle or obstruction between the two terminal locations. The required final zone clearance can be established visually using the following table below. The radio package comes with both pole and wall mounting kits. Use the right kit to fit your structure and securely mount the radio. Make sure both radios are installed with the right polarization. Keep the arrow on the back side of the radio aligned to the same direction as on the second radio. To adjust the radio to the right position, use a size 6 Allen key to loosen up the warm lock screw on both the vertical and horizontal position, and then use the warm adjustment screw to align the radio to the right direction. And remember to tighten up the lock screw after completing the alignment process. The following method of alignment are depending on your link distance. Tools that you can use are optical scope, digital voltmeter, and alignment mode in the GUI interface. Also use our link availability calculator to see your link information and the voltage versus distance graph. In the GUI interface for the V320 and the V1000, go to the air interface and the wireless page to see the receive power level and voltage and the receive signal level and dBm. Aim the radio on both ends to get the highest voltage and receive level reading. You can view the signal level of the transmitter radio by connecting your radio to a digital voltmeter and measure the DC voltage. The higher the voltage reading, the better. Aim both radios to get the highest voltage. Alignment search pattern. Start by moving the radio left to right slowly and then back to where you started with a touch of a down tilt. If you are not getting a signal, continue with the down tilt and repeat this search pattern. As soon as you start seeing some signal, keep track of the voltage and the received level. You might hit the side loop of the transmitter radio. Keep working your search pattern until you get a 15 dB higher gain. Stop at this point, you just reach the main loop. The radio uses a very narrow beam of 1.4 degree at 3 dB points. The shorter link distance between the radios, the narrow alignment accuracy windows you will have. So at 100 meter link, you will have a 2.9 feet of alignment accuracy and at 800 meter, you will have a 22.9 feet of alignment accuracy. Thank you for watching. You can visit us at www.subtensystem.com and if you have any question, contact our technical support. Thank you.